our stock point. Do your children still have... Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell was sidestepping questions Monday as federal prosecutors search for clarity about gifts and loans to him and his family given by the generous CEO of a dietary supplement company. A stunning turnaround for a rising star no longer in national Republican politics. Last year, McDonald was being mentioned as a possible running mate for Mitt Romney, though never officially vetted for the spot, sources said. This year, McDonald is fending off questions about resigning, though he's term limited and out of office in January. Now, I intend to uh, work this next 160 days to do everything possible to be able to uh, finish out a very good term. McDonnell has already repaid his friend, donor, and CEO of Star Scientific Supplements, Johnny Williams, for tens of thousands of dollars in loans, for clothes for his wife Maureen, for catering for his daughter's wedding, for a $6,500 Rolex watch. Worse still, Maureen McDonnell bought stock in Star Scientific and promoted the company's products with a luncheon at the governor's mansion. A main question is whether McDonald accepted things of value in exchange for official acts, which he denies, or if he willfully turned a blind eye to gifts to his wife. McDonald says he didn't know about the gifts or the stock. The governor has uh, twice essentially thrown his wife under the bus. Still, a former top official of the Justice Department tells CNN this would be a very and, uh, difficult case for federal prosecutors to make without clear evidence of a quid pro quo involving the governor. What I don't see for a federal crime right now is the governor acting in his official capacity in order to aid Star Scientific in exchange for the money. McDonald says he broke no laws, pointing out in a recent radio interview that even under the gift disclosure rules in Virginia, his wife and kids are off the hook, and so is he. Which is gifts to elected officials or to reported gifts to family members or, or not. Still, the public memory of all this could pose a long-term political problem regardless of whether charges are filed. Well, clearly in the court of public opinion, uh, with a, a growing segment of the electorate, the governor has been charged, tried, and convicted. McDonald can't run for re-election, but the controversy is also having an impact on what has become one of the nation's nastiest gubernatorial races. The state of Virginia hasn't really had a lot of hanky-panky from elected officials recently, so to some, the situation is a bit of a shock.